Welcome to Mom Matters. I'm your host, Alyssa DeVere, and in the next 10 easy to watch minutes, we're going to give you some great practical tips for more productive parenting. Tonight's show is Straight Talk, Chiropractic Unplugged, and with us here is Howard Goldberg. He's been a chiropractor for 25 years, and prior to that, he has experience working as a respiratory therapist in such honorable places as neonatal and pediatric intensive care, correct? Wow. My hat's off to you. Fantastic work. And we welcome you to our show tonight. Thank you. Um, we have a ton of questions for you. And the first one is, what is chiropractic and what is the scope of the study? Okay. That's a great, great question. The first, part the, the main thing about chiropractic is that chiropractic is the doctors of the nervous system. So the nervous system, and this is in chiropractic, but it's anatomy and physiology. The nervous system controls and coordinates everything that goes on in the body. Everything. Every stimulus coming into us, into our sensory nervous system, is controlled by the brain and the nervous system. Everything we do, um, my hand doing this, is messages coming up into the brain, going back down. So everything is, is mediated by the nervous system. So what chiropractic does, it's, it's a, there's a way to check the nervous system to make sure that there's no impingements or interference with the, wherever those nerves are going to. So the nerves are going to the lungs and the heart and the liver and the kidneys, all these different areas yeah. are controlled by the nervous system. I noticed um, that often, and again, in your own literature, it says that different health issues like asthma, allergies, ADD, uh, bedwetting, colic, abdominal pain, ear infections, growing pains, headaches, I mean, the list is endless. It really can affect just about any yeah. part of the body or any ailment that you have. Really true. And, and really the whole thing about that is that chiropractors, we don't say that we cure any of these things or we even treat any of these things. But what happens is if the nervous system or the nerves go into these different areas. So for instance, asthma. You know, I used to be a respiratory therapist, so I, I know a lot about asthma. And what happens is the nerves that control the lungs come out of the top of the neck and the top of the shoulders. And those nerves that go to the lungs, if the vertebrae get out of line, and we're going to talk about that in a little while, there will be pressure on those nerves and interference with the way the lungs are supposed to work. Wow. And okay. asthma is probably the thing that has responded the best out of anything over the years and the quickest with kids. Wow. Tell me what it takes to become a chiropractor. What kind of training credentials do you need? Well, you have to get a bachelor's degree. And then there's four years of chiropractic school. Four years? Well, that's a lot. Yeah. Okay. And we take basically the same, it's, it, you know, if you looked at a comparison of uh, education medical school and education chiropractic school, they're really similar. They do a lot of pharmacology, we do a lot of nerve system stuff. But the hours of this are really the same. Um, there are a few variations. They'll, they'll do more. We do a lot of nutrition and those kinds of things. Mm. They do more uh, surgical, you know, whatever their modes are, they do those. But the, the, the basic training is the same. And then we, you know, both areas specialize a little differently. Given that it seems to be a rigorous program, why isn't it recognized in the medical community? I realize it's an alternative medicine. Um, but you hear doctors recommending acupuncture, you really don't hear them recommending yeah. chiropractic. Yeah. Why is that? Well, if, well, first of all, it's changing a little bit. And there are MDs who do recommend this. And I have, I've had over the years, you know, maybe two or three MDs as patients. And I have one now who recommends quite a few patients. So it's nice. But, you know, seriously, the reason is, honestly, is that the pharmaceutical industry doesn't have a lot of interest mm -hmm. in chiropractic because we don't use drugs. So. What, you know, the big thing about the medical industry is that the schools, a lot of the whole deal is controlled by the pharmaceutical mm -hmm. industry. So, you know, a lot of it's financial, a lot of it's money. Interesting. Well, even though the doctors don't recommend it, it seems that a lot of insurance does cover it. Is that yes. correct? Yes. So, um, yeah. what is the typical cost for seeing a chiropractor? Well, a typical session, you know, aside from the initial exams and things like that, is any probably in the profession anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars a session? Okay, so it's not a huge it's cost. Not, it's not. And it is covered by most insurance. A lot, of, yes, a lot of insurance. That's great. We're going to take a very quick break. We're going to be back with Howard, who's going to talk about specifically when and why to take a child to see a chiropractor. It's important for us to get involved so that Lauren could see. Um, you know, what people do to help other people and, you know, how you can get involved and be active in your community, so. I'm starting toys for kids who don't have any and for people who don't have Christmas presents. And Cradles to Crayons is great. All the stuff that they can give you, um, the, the kids, I don't know, I just, I have a son and he can have a lot of stuff and these kids don't, so it feels good to just give back.
We're back with Howard Goldberg, who is our chiropractor, telling us about when and why we should take our children to have their nervous systems examined. When do we do it as parents? Well, because the birth process is one of the things that is most traumatic to children, and they know through a lot of research in chiropractic and the nervous system, is that the birth process is traumatic, whether it be natural birth, whether it be the most natural birth in the world, cesarean section, whatever it be, normally what's happening is that the doctor has their hands around the head and pulling at the neck. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of force being exerted because they want to get the kid out of here everything to be wonderful and happy and healthy. But they know but what happens is when there's pressure on these nerves here and some of these bones move out of place, the, wherever these nerves are going to start not working properly. Uh, okay. So I have a child. I have a four-year-old, an eight-year-old. Do I bring them? When do I bring them? Any advice well, it's, on a, that? it's a great idea. You know, we have a lot of people who, who have been coming in for a long time. People who get under regular care and find that their lives, in a lot of different ways, are much better having the nervous system working right. So they bring their children in, just out like doing anything, just a normal thing, like bringing them to the dentist. They bring their children to have the spine checked. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I, and I, you know. People, kids who have things like ear infections, asthma, those kinds of things are, are things that clear out so beautifully in chiropractic mm -hmm. care. So if your kid's symptomatic, bring them into a chiropractor. What's the youngest that you treat? I have newborns coming, you know, within oh. a couple of weeks. And the kinds of the correction, there's a spine, and these are the nerves up and through here. And But the kinds of correction usually up in here is just some finger pressure. You also have this little instrument here that we use on children and adults. Mm. And it just gives a little force and moves the bones. Mm. And it's a, just a real gentle, gentle thing. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt, sure. Real quick what it feels like. And sometimes people don't even know I'm doing anything. Mm. But it works really well. Okay, great. Um, is there any way that it can impede growth or development in the child? No, actually it has the opposite effect. Mm. How's that? It increases growth and potential. Okay. Um, what is the best advice you can give adults, um, parents, about their spinal health and their children's? Well, because the nervous system is so important, it's just to have yourself checked by a chiropractor and, and maybe, and definitely children, uh, chiropractors specialize in children. And children specifically. Sure. Excellent. I appreciate that. Good advice, good information, Howard. Thank you so much and thank you to our sponsor tonight. I want to direct you to our blog, which is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash mom hyphen matters dot blogspot dot com. There you'll find a listing of all our previous shows as well as information on our upcoming shows. Our next show is Shut Up About Your Perfect Child. And we're going to have sisters and authors with us of a new book that talks about raising imperfect children in this perfect demanding world. For Mom Matters, this is Alyssa DeVere giving you practical tips for more productive parenting.